It's raining, it's day five of the London Film Festival and we've been here on the red carpet talking to the cast of John Stewart's Rosewater. Here's what they had to say. I mean, the, the initial thing that, that excited me was that John and Gael were attached to a project. That's the first thing I knew when I got sent the script was that John Stewart and Gael were making this film and being huge fans of the two of them, I was like, wow, you know, what, what, is, this, what is this project? And read the screenplay, um, which is amazing, you know, a, a truthful story about a guy's experience in, in a in a country where um, where he grew up and has now gone back to and is, is seeing the oppression there um, and feeling it, experiencing it. Um, and my character is is becomes a, a friend of, of Maziar um, and ends up showing Maziar the sort of disenfranchised members of society where he grew up, the sort of fringes and how 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 the regime there has affected their lives. Um, and Maziar becomes sort of impassioned by that and through through Davoud. Um, who is my character is based on a, on a real person through him kind of gets to see more and understand more about the people that are being affected particularly the younger generation how they feel about um, the situation there this is a story about one man's experience of a particular oppressive regime yeah. but what significance do you feel this story has for a global audience what do you think people generally are going to take away particularly those who maybe aren't familiar with the details of uh, sure. the original uh, story well, I think for me, one of the interesting things, and I think what John tried very carefully to do was that often with these things, it's easier to try and vilify people, but actually there isn't a villain in this exactly. It's, it's sort of structures are in place that people follow. And, and because of that, they, there's conflict, but it's not that there's actually a sort of um, an enemy as such. It's just that people, there's, there's almost a bureaucracy to things and people get caught in that. And I think the film tried to depict that too. You know, Rosewater isn't just a guy out to get people. He, he's got a family to feed and he's doing a job, essentially. And we might see that job as something bad and we put judgments on it, but essentially there's, it's a conflict of interest and, 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 and hopefully through more discussion and, and films like this, there's a, a wider understanding and then change can happen. Um, that's the hopeful thing, obviously, you know, um, this film is, is a small part of that, but I think that's, that's the, the sort of flag in the ground that John was, the point that he was trying to make. Now, obviously, we're very familiar with him, but mm. this is his uh, directorial debut. Yeah. Can you talk about what kind of a director he is? Yeah, he's amazing. I've, he's, he's from a, a sort of, his school of filmmaking is like, let's see what happens. You know, he doesn't over-prepare, and then when you turn up on set, he might decide to just throw the dialogue away and, and want improvising, which is scary for, for the actors, but um, a lot of fun. And um, he's incredible. He's, he's, he's so insightful and aware of everything that you're doing when you're on set and you're working. And within a few words, he can give you notes that really open up, you know, and, and understand yourself what, what it is you're playing. I, he's incredible. I, I sort of can't speak highly enough of John, really. Um, he's one of the brightest, warmest, funniest people I've, I've worked with. Um, and I really mean that with John. It's, it's something that, that um, you know, you say that all the time about people you work, but John in particular is, is quite a special case. And has the process of making this film given you a newfound appreciation for some of the freedoms that we often take for granted in our own lives? Yeah, I mean, in, in making the film, you know, I was, uh, I was relatively sort of, um, I wasn't as well read on, on the sort of the, the situation over there and, and just the politics of the Middle East either. It was something that I knew of, but was getting, you know, just fed from BBC articles and things like that. And then when I joined the film, I thought, right, you know, I want to investigate a little more. Um, and so for me, it was it, the, the, the five weeks we spent filming was like a lesson in, in the history and, and understanding how we got to where we did. And obviously with John on set, those, those discussions were happening and, and it, it, I, I learned so much about it. Um, so it was, yeah, it was kind of like a schooling for me. What would you to bring the film here to the BFI London Film Festival? Amazing. I mean, I'm born and bred in London, um, you know, grew up here. So it's fantastic for me on a personal level to come and bring it here. But also BFI is such a great festival. Um, and I think the film will fit in really well here. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope, you know, people enjoy it and, and the festival, um, the people that come and see it, you know, take something away. Rosewater is out in the UK on the 14th of November and if you want to see a review for that head over to the site. We'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.